Hi Kobab and today I am going to be doing a video that has been long awaited by me. But first I want to tell you like I know I got this ratchet back um set up in this ratchet cell for here because this um because first of all my desk and room are dirty so I don't feel like cleaning them up right now and second of all we're doing makeup today so I don't want to get it all over my hair. So but the makeup we got today is from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So I got makeup from the Dollar Tree yesterday, and I've been wanting to do this forever. So yeah, if y'all enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Just it's right there, and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload every video. And so yeah, without further ado, let's just get right onto the video. This is my bag right here. And disclaimer, I am no beauty guru. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing I have is this. LA Colors Liquid Makeup. Let me just show y'all. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm going to open it up. And it's in the shade True Beige. I'm so excited I got this yesterday. And there was literally like three shades there. Now, here's another thing. I don't know if there's more shades of this. And I understand Dollar Tree is not Ulta, Ulta or Sephora. But the brands that were there, y'all need to make multiple. Like, y'all need to try when you... Y'all might not have as much since you're... Since it's affordable. But try to make a huge shade range because... There's some people out there that cannot afford all of the, may not even be able to afford a drugstore. Because some drugstore foundations are like $14, $15, which may not seem a lot to some people. But some people, it may seem like a lot because they're running on a low income. So, like, hopefully this doesn't, like, sound rude. But I think the people, you should, like, have a good shade range because, you know, you won't be able to buy it. And some people cannot afford all of that. So, I have this. And then I could not find a um, beauty blender, so I got this compact makeup by Color Mates, and it comes with like a little sponge thing inside of it, and it also has makeup in it. So here we go! I'm so excited. I'm gonna shake it up, I guess. It smells like paint. Hopefully, this will be enough. So here we go. Ooh, what does this smell like? Like mayonnaise? Favorite makeup gurus, Tati. Oh, I love her. And I love um, Rach loves. Laura Lee, um, Nikki Tutorials, um, Jackie Ina, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Look how much it just absorbed into that little sponge. Oh, Kelly Strack, I love her. So now, concealer. And so this is the LA Colors Concealer Buildable Coverage. Covers and conceals. And this is the shade Nude. It's literally the same shade as the foundation. Try to find like a lighter shade. Just kind of had to, you know, work with what I had. And I did get a concealer brush. So I got this concealer brush right... Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So it's the um, Wet n Wild Large Concealer Brush. Okay. That was horrible. So trash for both of these. Well, I'm going to keep them, but, like, they're not good. I would definitely not recommend buying them. So now I'm going to do this Color Mates Press Powder to lock it all in. And this is the shade Rose Beige. Because they literally had, like, two shades. It was really dark, and then it was really pinky, so I just got the pinky one. Okay. I'm just going to use this contour brush that I got from Wet n Wild. Thumbnail. You know what I'm really ready for? The eyeshadow part. Because I'm so excited. Okay. So, let's see. That is fine, I guess. I don't really know if it did anything. Okay. Now we're going to do... What are we going to do now? Um, contour. This is the LA's Colors Pressed Powder. And they didn't actually... It wasn't called Contour. But... I bought it for contour. Like it was supposed to be for like, like um, like block locking in your stuff. But this should be fine. Oh yeah, girl. And then it came with this little thing, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be using this. And it's got this is the mirror that I've been using. Let's see if I can just like. Girl, I ain't about to use this. We wanna be looking snatched, but not really happening. What's the, can somebody tell me in the comments what the difference between bronzer and contour is? Is contour like like cream and bronzer's powder to go over it? 
but I'm about to do my nose. Let's do it with, I'm about to do my nose with this, what am I about to do? I'm going to do it with this crease brush for eyeshadow. Just did nothing. It just made me look worse. Dang, I was so excited for this. Everything's like just a fail right now, except for the brushes. I don't see anything, but okay. Packaging is not, it won't even close. So, the packaging's good. But I don't have to use this mirror for the rest of the thing, but I'm about to just like dig into this. Like, it's going everywhere because I have to dig. Now, my favorite part, highlighter. Now, there was no highlighter there, but I was like, okay, well, you know what we're going to do. We're going to get this loose eyeshadow from LA Colors. LA Colors, you want to sponsor me? Just kidding, because y'all's products are poopy. So, this is the color Honeysuckle, and it's a loose eyeshadow. And this is one of the main reasons that I got a, like a, um, towel over me because I'm like terrified this is going to go everywhere. So let's just pray for the best. It says it comes with a brush. But we're gonna, what we're going to do is use the crease brush from um, for the eyeshadow. Oh yeah girl. Highlight. That's like my favorite part of like, I don't even like of watching people do makeup just put in their highlight. Oh I love it. Okay so that highlight, highlight was Pretty good. Let's see if y'all can see that highlight. Oh, pop in, pop in. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so now we're going to do eyeshadow. So what I got for eyeshadow was this LA Colors. Once again, LA Colors. You want to sponsor me? And I, it's a 12 color eyeshadow palette, and it the it is um LA Colors eyeshadow nude. That's what it's called, the nude. Okay, let's see. Packaging is not good, really. I could break this in one drop, but I'm not going to. But it's actually kind of cute. And then they gave us one of these things, but we don't need that. Let's just Maybe we can use it, but like these things are poopy. Well, I have makeup all in my thing, and that's good to know. Okay, so these are all looking like shimmers. And that was one of my biggest fears. I was like, please don't let these all be shimmers. I really want to do this blue right here. What is this, blue? Okay, they're sort of pigmented. Kind of. Oh, look at the packaging. Not that bad. See, I'm obviously off and on. This is trendy. That's what it's called, trendy. So we're going to, once again, pray for the best. And I also got this Wet n Wild Color Icon Glitter Single in color brass because I wanted to put this in like thing and this is what I have my high hopes for because I know wet and wild is not gonna be putting things that are poopy out like if they had wet and wild highlighters there I know those things will look because girl I watch Tati I know what she does cruelty free it says oh this is literally Vaseline and glitter wet and wild you this is literally Vaseline and glitter. I'm not even joking. Wet and wild. Come on. I just literally, like, oh my gosh. Did I, let's go back to that part when I said that I know it's going to be good. Because I know wet and wild is not going to be putting things that are poopy out. Like, you serious, wet and wild? You better hit me with some Vaseline. Oh, I wish y'all could feel this. This is just Vaseline. I thought that I was like, I wonder if this will be just Vaseline, you know. I'm not putting this on my eyes. You put this on your lips. Not for use around eyes or lips. What are we doing with it then? What's the phony? What? Yeah, I'm really not putting it on my lips now on my eyes now. I'm about to show you guys. It literally says do not put on eyes. It's worse packaging. It said eyes for eyeshadow. Where's the dang packaging for this? Here it is. Glitter single. 
Improved formula provides highly pigmented glittering color. Blendable. Moisturizes skin. Yeah, I understand that. How are you going to blend Vaseline? What? Let's see if I can show you guys what I follow. Where it says, do not, not for eyes. That's crazy. This is like four. Ugh. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to go in with this and just... I'm so mad. What? Okay, here we go. So now i got to find a mirror. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. On my crease. Definitely a beauty girl now. I'll just use the word crease. Sewing with this shade right there. It's got some pigment because I just dug into it. Go into this blue, black, I don't know what that is, and put it on the lid. Okay, that's not that bad, I don't think, is it? I don't know. So now we're going to do the other eyeball. Okay, so now I think I'm actually going to use this thing right here. And I'm going to get the thing that we used earlier for highlighter. I think I'm gonna put that in the corner. Girl, that looks good. Okay, just saying. Okay, let's get color right here. And I'm gonna put it like right here, I guess. I don't know. Hey y'all, so so it's about like an hour later after filming. And okay, I'm just saying, look at this highlight. Just saying. So, I don't think it looks... Okay, let, let me stop looking at myself so full of myself. So, I don't think it looks that bad. So, from a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being looks amazing, 1 being looks horrible, I think it's a 4.5. So, I think the highlight looks, like, bombing. Like, booming. Go to Dollar Tree, get a single shadow like this, and there. You got your highlight. The eyeshadow, I don't think it looks that bad. Like, it looks a little crazy, but the glitter part doesn't look that bad. But, yeah, my mom says I look orange. But I had to, like, stop because, um, my, I ran out of storage. So, yeah, now I'm going to insert a clip of me showing, like, what, what I'm keeping, what is, what worked, what kind of worked, and what did not work at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not ready already. And I promise it won't be all over the place like this one was. But I had so much fun filming this. So yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And give it a big thumbs up and put on hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And remember to never let fear decide your fate. Bye. Mwah.